Drama is life with double bits cut out. Okay, Alfred Hitchcock is a fan of drama and dramatic scenes, but we are focusing on cutting and all this stuff. And so we are we are in polishing the podcast. So he's the streaming it will be ready to the served podcast to the listeners. Um, this means audio production and means uh, audio editing for a later show. And here we are in the middle of the topic of radioactive helpline number seven with the support of the European Union Lifelong Learning Program. And maybe for your orientation today it will go about mixing and cutting and editing and also for experimenting and arranging of the content. So first I would like to hook this topic into the whole uh, scene. Maybe you remember the complete workflow I presented in the first episode of this series uh, about post-production and these are really single steps I think about uh, nine but in in this episode I will try to set the baseline for a collection of steps we have mentioned here so in fact you will get some more details about improving the recording chaptering the recording and mark sources and I want to share with you my essentials in terms of a workflow. So, in, in, in fact, how many times do you think is a need to get all episodes listened in the complete listen through? Well, listen and listen and listen again will end up in lists. So, Complete listen through in my term and in my practice means completely listen to the whole episode without doing anything. So, this makes sure for you that you have the context of the episode in mind and you are back in the topic again. Usually, in my case, I'm not in the situation to be able to make all the edits in audio. Uh, directly after a recording or a run show. So there are a lot of works to be done and usually it's also it makes sense that you have a break, step back and go back to the recording. So this means in fact you have to get through one note by another and listen through. But the so second time you're completely listening through I would encourage you to focus on things like quality improvements. In this case, I look especially at levels and dead air or some things which, which are coming to my mind under the focus of uh, quality, how to improve it. And here, I'm not at the computer. I usually work here with pen and paper. And make a list and make no notes with start and end time where is a quality problem and have a list of problems and the second lesson which is a complete walkthrough that's a markers list that's another sheet of paper where I simply try to fetch the structure and the content of the show so I'm noting start and end times I mark there where is music I mark there where parts try to find uh, to find chapter titles for these parts and simply various sources I would like to point to. Oh, this is a, a list of markers I make in a fine tune. So that's the third time I completely listen to an episode. So going through and then I start editing and First, I'll do the, the essential cuts, and the second, I will uh, point in all the markers. And at third, I will do the leveling as I would like to do. I think it's 
perfect. And with the range, no, I don't change usually, not a broadcast. Uh, I change completely in the arrangement, but I have to rearrange it when uh, simply there are problems and I had to cut a piece out or I have dead air and I had to cut it out. So it's, it's a sort of fine-tuning arrangements. And maybe if you want to experiment a bit more, you could think about adding in a special outro for the podcast, which names simply the license where this sort of audio can be used, or maybe you have uh, announcements in the intermediate time you would like to do and to claim, like the next show, or something which is dedicated special for the podcast listeners who are not live on stage. Or maybe you would like to add your uh, portals of participation you know, and how to get in touch with you as a team. So, and the last point here, export. I would like to show you because there is a, a bit of difference between uh, two formats I would like to recommend. So, if you are in the Mac world uh, you, you, and using GarageBand, the old version of GarageBand, you may be able to export as an M4A as your final exporting format in a high quality. Well, this allows you to bring all the chapters and uh, your markers with the file before you continue working on it. Uh, if not, you have to do two things. Uh, export as a good quality MP3 and finally uh, make a list, simply a, a text-based list uh, which is specially formatted. I will show you. Uh, in another episode how to make chapters list when you upload the, the podcast or when you are using a phonic. Well, that's me, Andreas Auberger in this case, and we will switch over to my desktop. Yes, and welcome to my desktop. And you see here, there's a lot of things uh, went well. Um, in the last episode I shown you the uh, folder structure and here you see now there is a GarageBand document ready to be used and one of the problems is you have to open this as a GarageBand 605 as this is a legacy product and uh, simply we start from scratch here, we will open it without any changes, so we have an empty project. Well, GarageBand 605, uh, well, one of the main benefits is, uh, in this case, it's especially dedicated also to be used in podcast. And this means there is a special podcast track. And in a second, there are some presets and filters dedicated to deal really good with voice. So I really, I'm a bit uh, sad on that's discontinued in the development, but it works still now. So the first we are using the podcast, uh, the podcast track is we'll place the station picture. This will make sure every thing is in place even if the document is uh, uploaded uh, just as an mp3 um, usually there's no need for this i made the experience sometimes some player are a bit tricky and wait for the icon which is delivered by the id3 tag and uh, so if it's here everything works well so how does the recording goes to the episode because we are not starting to uh, include a lot of things. You can simply drag it here or you can sim, uh, can make an own track or you can simply place it uh, through the three configured filter and so they are imported and you will have a visual overview on what happens here and you listen. There's a lot of noise. Nothing. Nothing is going on there. This is called dead air. So get rid of the dead air that's a and in general i would recommend go through the quality aspects first make your episode as 
smart as polished as possible so you realize here is something which happened here's a change and maybe you remember this was the intro music and that's a good reason to have this protocol so you can simply go visually and mark up the problems you observe and see so what i think think is is a good change here is mark uh, this one and fade in at this stage so you may have observed i start with the quality aspects here first and then i will in a second way go through the chapters which i can simply place here in the podcast track uh, the, the main reason is if i make changes here they don't they are not recognized over here except if you make a cut over all lines if you do so then you have the chance uh, everything works well uh, but sometimes you forget it or uh, there's a problem is um, so simply first go through the quality then go to the chapters even it helps you to focus one of this okay i know this was the intro and then at this point this is music so let's demo you think think about i would have done everything uh, right here and the perfect quality in place so what would i do next is marking the chapters go to the start and have a big chapter marker we call it intro and maybe we place the url of our radio station After this, we see here was a second change. Let's listen. To okay, that's directly fading into music. Bit of strange, not usual for for me. But so if I have music in chapters, I usually say, okay, that's music as an eye catcher, and then title. I think that's a scheme uh, which is okay. Artist album. And here I place the sources. And usually by Jamendo you have a complete URL directly pointing either to the episode or to the album. Depends on what you want to link on. Let's say the music is finished here. And we add another marker. And we'll listen what the students are saying here. Hallo alle zusammen, was für ein schöner Abend. Und falls ihr es noch nicht wisst, Deutschland ist Weltmeister 2014. Und freut uns das? Oh, well, that's a welcome note. joking with the audience and then they will start with their content okay that's what i wanted to show you with editing uh, it's good to practice the shortcut another thing if you think about male and female voices here and why i leave them here well that's simple sometimes they are female which are uh have to be uh, edit, uh, edited a bit especially students sometimes tend to be quieter and quieter and quieter so if i separate those tracks i can simply can say okay i will cut this off from here to here
and I can put this here. I can append filters on this, which are dedicated to make voice smoother or not. So here you have your filter sets. Uh, you can simply change what you want. Maybe you want uh, to make a speech optimization and have a female noisy environment. So listen, what's... Hallo alle zusammen, was für ein schöner Abend. Und falls ihr es noch nicht wisst, Deutschland ist Weltmeister 2014. Und freut uns das? Okay, you see, what's appended here is completely different from what's appended here. Okay, imagine now I have been through and everything is fine-tuned, everything is chaptered, everything is linked what I wanted to link. So how to change a format now or how to export this? So first, save is always a good option. But here you can export it and you export it uh, best using the AAC coder or encoder which makes you an enhanced podcast which will be saved in an M4A format. Uh, this will preserve and, and help you to use the chapters and chapter work you have done later on in the transcoding uh, web-based platform. So uh, that's the optimal way. If you don't use GarageBand and have another and you have an, an, another uh, audio editor and uh, you can simply export usually the chapter files into a file uh, and it may be a simple text file. Uh, I know Outer City is uh, working with uh, title flex. It's called there. So uh, the, the most important is that Ophonic can handle this. And here there are two, two things I do when I'm making my notes. Uh, I will do them, or usually I do them in pen and paper. And first, in the in the you know, sort of legend of me, uh, AP is an acronym for audio problems. Music is M, and chapter titles is uh, CT. So simply, if I make a table, I can say okay here was an audio problem or here I want to have a, a chapter title. So I simply have to to do the time and time notation. They are different ways. And here you see some examples. And the best way Orphonic can handle is uh, is here shown here. So the last points are zero, zero, zero. Three zeros means milliseconds. These are seconds, these are minutes. And these are ours. Okay. Thank you very much for listening. And this was a short and rough input into editing and post-production work for podcasting. Bye-bye until the next sequence.